Hey, what's good, fam? It's Coach Rod here. Uh, before I get started in my video, I just want to make an announcement. Um, I will soon be an author. My first book is in the um, editing stage. It's in, uh, now it's getting published and editing and formatting and also getting the cover to it. The title of that book is called Queens Don't Settle. Queens Don't Settle. It's the title of that book. And I'm just letting y'all know um, it will be out about two weeks. And that book, I'm, I believe God that that book is going to break the chain off a lot of women. And I believe that this is this is my belief. I believe that all women are queens. But most women don't have the mindset of a queen. Most women are not queen conscious. And queen, when a woman about knows that she's a queen, she will not settle for any and everything. And that's why the title is called Queens Don't Settle. Because when you really have the mindset of a queen, you will not settle for any in, in, in everything. And I want you to understand the reason why a lot of women on, on this, in this day and age who are selling because they don't know that they are queen. Because a queen is something that has to be taught. A queen is something that has to be, you have to be um, made. You know, queen, you're not born being a queen. So queen is something that you have to teach yourself how to be a queen. And, you know, once you learn how to, that you are a queen, trust me, it's going to change your whole perspective of life and how you view yourself and how you view relationships. And I was led upon the, you know, inspiration of the Holy Spirit to write that book. And my goal is for every woman who read that book to know their worth, to know their value. And if they are with a grown boy, that they will break up with that grown boy. That's my goal of writing that book. So that's for you ladies. Queens, don't sell it. It's going to be out. Support your book, Coach Rod. Get the book. I'm going to give y'all some more information about it as, you know, the process is going on. Like I said, it's going to be about like maybe two weeks for my book to be done and out. I'm going to give y'all some more information on it. But Coach Rod is now an author. So I'm a life and relationship coach and I'm an author. To those who are new to my channel and to my page. But what I want to talk about today is recognizing manipulation. A lot of women begin manipulated by men in this day and age and they just don't know it. And see what you got to understand is if you don't recognize manipulation early, you're going to be stuck with a grown boy. You're going to be stuck with a, a man. Y'all just free with benefits. And in your mind, oh, this is my man. Oh, we in a relationship. But in his mind, oh, it just free with benefits. Or it's just a situation. Because this is what a lot of women don't understand. Whenever men play games with you, whenever a man make an excuse by why he does not want to be with you, he just want to be friend with you, and you sit down and you be his friend, then he starts to manipulate you because, again, he, his goal is to get you on your back. A lot of men, a lot of men, some men will, but a lot of men is not going to tell you straight up front that, you know, hey, I, I just want to, I just want to ask that with you. I don't want nothing serious. I, I just want to get you on your back. A lot of men, most men not going to tell you that. So they're going to tell you some stuff like this right here. Or just some things that based upon that I heard women tell me. In coaching sessions and even in my comment session, Kora, the man said he loved me, but he don't trust women. And then now you sit right there and you try to get this man to trust women. And whenever a man make an excuse by why he does not want to be with you, by why he does not want to, if you want more than just a friendship, if you want more than just family benefits, if you want a relationship. If you want to get married, if you want to find a man to build, start off with a friendship, go into a relationship, and then build upon a marriage. Whenever you get with a man, if he got any excuse why he does not want anything serious, accept that excuse and you move on. But women stay right there and try to prove to this man that he can trust you. See what I'm saying? And when a man say he love you, but he don't trust you, 
oh, I love you, but I've been my past and I got all these issues of my past. I don't know how to love all this stuff that these men come up with. It, it better for you to cut it off right then and there because if you don't, you are going to get manipulated. And before you know it, you're going to be on your back with your panties off and you're going to be on lay your crown down because you trying to get a man to trust women. That is not your job to get a man to trust women. If a man does not trust women, he need to be by himself. He need to go see a therapist or a coach or uh, get some counseling and learn how to trust women. It's not your job to get a man to learn how to trust women. And I deal with this all the time. I, I have seen the comment. Coach Rod, I've been with the man for a while now. He didn't want to go any further. He, he, he just want to be friends with me. He got problems with his past. He got all these issues coming up. So I responded back to her. I said, you know, well, why don't you just leave? Why you allow this man to strain you along like that? Her response to me, well, I try to leave, but when I leave, he tells me that, oh, you giving up on me like everybody else giving up on me. And then you stay with him. That is manipulation. That is manipulation. You got to learn how to recognize when a man is trying to manipulate you. You know that you're not being treated right. You know that you're not going anywhere in this relationship. You know that relationship is not going to where you want to go. You know you're not happy. And you ain't crazy. You know you're staying in your right mind. And you know how you feel. Stop disregarding how you feel when a man tells you, oh, you're going to give up on me like everybody else is going to give up on me. That's manipulation. What y'all got to understand is, and this, I'm, I'm coming from a man's perspective. I'm a man telling y'all, don't let nobody else tell y'all. Now, you might have a grown boy come in the comment, oh, he don't know what he's talking about. Man, then, man, then, he, he wrong. Or you might have some women come in the comment, well, that is not true. I know somebody, and she met a man, and, and that man didn't trust women, and now they married, and they've been married for 30 years. Don't believe these people. You see what I'm saying? Trust me. I'm a man. I'm a real 100% man. God fearing man. And when a man is truly in love with a woman, he does not make no excuses. It ain't going to be, I love you, but this in here. When a man love you, you're not going to be feeling this down inside of you. Like, what's, you know, you're not going to be questioning it. Like, I wonder how you feel about me. When a man is in love with you, when a man is serious about you, the, the relationship is going to make progress. You're not going to be on the same level. Six months, y'all still friends. Six months, and y'all ain't going nowhere. Six months. You still with the same man with the same excuse why he cannot be with you and make you his woman. It don't take a man more than six months to know whether or not he least want to be exclusive with you. You see what I'm saying? But you've been with this man all this time and, and you still ain't going nowhere and you know how you feel on the inside. So, that is manipulation. Then when you try to walk out the relationship, oh, don't give up on me like everybody else give up uh, upon me. I know you're going to give up on me. I know you're going to give up on me. You know what? You should say, you know what, brother? Yes, I'm going to give up on you. And I'm going to put you in the hands of God, okay? Because he's the only one who ain't going to never leave you, nor will he will not forsake you. Okay? But I'm going to go move on with my life because I don't have time to see you and waste time with a man who is telling me that he's not ready for love. Point blank, period. You see what I'm saying? So, since you don't trust women, what you got to do is... You got to get you a therapy, hire you a life coach or a counselor, and sit down and talk to somebody. And, and until you learn how to trail women, I'm moving on with my life. Okay? Point blank, period. And yes, I'm going to give up on you. Another situation that one of my sisters are in, the man is a narcissist. The man is a narcissist. He's a straight up narcissist. I believe he is. I, I don't know. He's he not been diagnosed. But what she's selling me, I, I, I take that back. I don't know if he's a narcissist, but he got a lot of narcissistic traits. Manipulation, and, and I'm saying to myself, come on, sis, you know better than this here. You're a woman of God. You're a prophet. You're a prophetess. You can't pick up on this manipulating spirit, but that's how the spirit is. This spirit is so strong that if you don't recognize the spirit early, this spirit will actually have you thinking, believing that what this man is doing to you, that is okay. And you wonder why you can't leave this man. You know you're not happy, but I just can't leave. 
I know, and and, and, and and some women don't even don't even have sex with the man. It's not you're not even physically soul tied to the man, but you cannot leave this man, and you don't know why you're still with the man. You know you're not happy. You know you're not being honored. You know you're not being valued. But you just can't let this man go. You know why? You've been manipulated. You've been manipulated because my sister, who I talked to, when when she know that she's not happy, the man tells her. Oh, you're going to give up on me? If you give up on me, I'm going to give up on myself. Manipulation. But look how the man treat you. The man cuss you out. Hang the phone up on you. He's not consistent. He don't call and check up on you. It's been over six months since you know dating the man long distance. This man ain't can't put, take you out on a date yet. And you tell my, he tell my, if you give up on me, I'm going to give up on myself. You see what I'm saying? But when you know you're a queen, you gon' you you you're gonna say, look, 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 look here, bro. Look, look here. You know what? Yes, I'm gonna give up on this relationship. And if you chose to give up on yourself, I'm gonna put you in the hands of God. You understand me? I'm gonna put you in the hands of God, and you want God gonna deal with you on that right there. But I'm giving up because I realize that this is not working for me. I realize that I know my value and I know my worth. And I'm moving on with my life. Point man, period. So yes, I'm going to give up on you. And you're going to be alright because I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to love you from a distance. I still love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. He going to another game. Oh, I'm going to kill myself if you leave me. I'm going to kill myself. Don't leave me. I'm going to kill myself. God bless you. I will be at your funeral. That should be your response. When a man say, oh, I'm going to kill myself if you leave me. God bless you. I will be at the funeral. Okay? I will pay my respects to you. God bless you. I'm gone. Stop letting these men manipulate y'all. Y'all got to stop this mess, man. Understand manipulation. Because if we don't recognize the, 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 that spirit early, manipulation is a spirit. Manipulation, it, it falls upon the spirit of Jezebel. You understand me? And if you don't recognize that spirit early... That spirit gonna have you trapped inside a toxic relationship, and you wonder why am I in this relationship? Why? Because you've been manipulated. You've been manipulated. If you recognize the spirit early, you, you you can get out of it. But if you don't recognize the spirit early, that Jezebel spirit is is I'm taking that is a hard spirit to break, and that's why a lot of women are in relationships where the man is beating on them. I seen this one time, it went viral on, on Facebook. The man was inside a convenience store. And some of y'all might have seen it. The man beat the woman down. And she was pregnant with his child. The man beating the woman down. The store clerk had to come out with a baseball bat, I think, and chase the man out of the store. They said, when the woman went to court, she took up for the man. And she tried to blame, blame the, the store clerk. You know why? She had been manipulated. By this man that being on you, me talking down to you, me, me, me calling you out your name, that is what narcissistic people do. That's what people do that beat on women. They tear you self-esteem down, they manipulate you, and they have you to thinking that nobody don't want you but me. Nobody don't want you but me. You ain't nothing. You ugly. Who gonna want you with all these kids? No man ain't gonna want no already made family. That's a last day from the pits of hell. And you stay with that mess, then they're gonna lower your soul esteem down. Now you've been manipulated. Now you're thinking bad about yourself because you don't have, you don't have to recognize the uh, that manipulation game. Recognize the manipulation these men be playing on y'all. Y'all too smart for this. You too good for this. You too beautiful for this. You got a lot of things going on in your life. A lot of y'all and some women that I have coached, they got the looks, they got the money. You got God in your life. You got all this stuff you got going for yourself. And you let a man tear you down. Stop letting a no good, sorry, I'm not going to say a man, a no good, sorry, stinking tail grown boy manipulate, manipulate you and tear your self-esteem down. And now you are in a relationship. It may not be a relationship, really. It's a situationship with somebody who does not value you. And you cannot let go because of the manipulation. It's time to let go. It's time to get out of that relationship right now. And I don't know who I'm talking to. You got to love you. It's time to put yourself first. 
It's time to put your your um your your self worth and your self value first. Stop letting these men manipulate y'all, man. Y'all got to understand, whenever you are not happy in a relationship, whenever you are with a man and you're not going forward and you don't experience the love that you're supposed to experience, when you are with a man and you don't feel valued, a man's supposed to make you feel valued. And I said this on one of my other videos. I'm going to say it on, on this video right here. A man value what they love. When a man does not value you, it's time to move on from the relationship. It's time to move on. These men be, be manipulating y'all. And a lot of y'all Christians. And a lot of y'all evangelists. A lot of y'all in ministry. A lot of y'all prophets. And I said to myself, you can't, you're can't. you a woman of God? And you don't recognize the spirit of manipulation? That is a spirit. Jezebel's spirit. And I'm going to do some more teaching about the Jezebel spirit. Because a lot of times, y'all be interacting with a Jezebel spirit and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. A narcissistic person is a person that has a Jezebel spirit. And y'all be interacting with these people and you don't even know. You can't recognize that spirit. Stop letting these men manipulate y'all. I, I talk to women. I call women. They know they're not happy. And then when they want to leave a relationship, he going to man. Oh, he's going to leave me. Everybody always leave me. I knew he going to leave me. I, I, I have coached a woman while the man cheated on her. She left the man. And then the man going to tell her, I knew you was going to leave me. I knew you was going to hurt me. I knew you was going to put me down. I knew you was going to give up on me because I made a mistake. Everybody always give up on me every time I make a mistake. Girl, that's manipulation. And the girl told me, Cole Rob, when I left, he, 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 you know, he, he told me the whole thing. And now I'm feeling bad, like, I feel like I let the man down. Girl, move on with your life. That's manipulation. That's a Jezebel spirit. They'll cheat on you, and then they'll have you thinking that it's your fault when you want to leave. Oh, you did me wrong because you left me. You hurt me. Sus, you deserve better. You deserve better. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But I learned it from my man R.C. Blake. And the words of my man R.C. Blake. Sometimes you got to let your heart break to heal. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. Hey, listen to me. Um, if you need coaching, the link going to be in the subscription box. Click on that link. Book a session with me. Let me talk to you. Talk to you some things You know that you need to talk to. You might want to vent. You might need accountability, friend, or partner, and that's what coaching is all about. Click on the link, man. Hook up with Coach Rod. Let me coach you through this, um, your situation here. God bless y'all. Once again, my book will be coming out. I'm going to give y'all some more information about it. Just, I'm just going to prepare y'all let y'all know. It's called Queen Don't Settle. And I'm really, really anticipating the Holy Spirit to break chains off every woman that read that book life. And you're going to know your value and your worth. God bless y'all.